Micro Geophagus Ramarizi. Check her out. Stay with me, guys. I've got some good stuff for you. Even if you don't own them, this cichlid causes a lot of people a lot of questions, a lot of grief, a lot of heartache, and I'm going to tell you why. Stay with me, guys. YouTube, what's up? Scuba Steve, I'm back. Today I'm going to touch on the German Blue Ram, also known as the Micro Geophagus Ramarizi. Okay, guys? So, uh, even if you don't have this fish or you don't keep this fish or this isn't the cichlid that you know that you have in your tank or ever would have in your tank, chances are you know somebody who will or who may and you know we need to try to pass on this word and try to discourage uh, 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 um, you know some of our friends from getting these fish from big box stores. Uh, the number one reason that these fish die is bad strain. Okay, these fish are a lot of the bulk of the uh, of the German blue rams in the trade are coming from Asian farms, which keep their farm tanks pumped full of uh, antimicrobial medications. Okay, and a lot of them are easy, are even using hormones. And so that's why a lot of them that are coming from Petco are, are really brightly colored up. And I don't mean like neon, just they're just flashing. I mean, you can see the prominent blues. You can see the prominent, you know, golden yellow. You can see the, you can see that the face is really orange. Um, I've seen them to where the belly, the bellies are really, really brightly red. <coughs> you know, those fish right there, and I've seen them in my local Petco. Those fish right there have... Uh, 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 were injected with hormones and and they and they were coming from heavily medicated waters that, that that were using antimicrobial medications and this right here as soon as they're taken out of that they're being dumped into a tank at Petco or PetSmart that's on a centralized watering system that's sending all these different bacteria and stuff that and, and it's exposing them to this fish you buy the fish, you take them home, you expose them to more bacteria. You expose them to, you know, uh, 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 to more bacteria that are inside of your own tank. And so what happens shortly after that is the fish's immune system starts to take a dump. And once the immune system takes a dump, normally the protozoan bacteria um, uh, becomes flagellates. It gets into the gut. It's a protozoan bacteria that irritates the gut and you know it starts pooping white um, I've been at Petco I've seen you know the uh, uh, flagellates already irritating the gut to where the fish were were, 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 were uh, pooping white feces and basically what that is, is that's mucus inside of the gut because the guts irritated and so that's the cause of the white feces that fish is doomed shortly thereafter that fish is dead so um, I bought this one, the, this little girl that I have right here, I got that from my local fish store who assured me that he picked them up from a local breeder and that's the only reason why I have them and you know it's just like the earlier video that I made uh, on uh, the biggest mistake in the discus hobby, guys if you haven't seen that one go check that video out, it's got some good stuff in it too. This fish is the same way. If 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 you if you get them from uh, Petco or PetSmart or a big box store Guess what, guys? That fish is, is, is pretty much not long for this world. And to you guys that uh, are having success with them, that you know that, that, that you've got them from your Petco or you've got them from a big box store, you know, my hat's off to you. You know, but that's really not the rule of thumb. That's pretty much the exception to the rule. Um, you know, I have it from my own experience, and I and, and I have I've seen it on blog after blog, on forum after forum, on video after video. So that's my word of advice to you guys. And all of this, of course, assumes that you're keeping them in their natural biotope, okay? Um, I know people also that keep them in moderately hard water. You know, my hat's off to you again. Uh, you know, I don't do that. I run a soft water tank. Uh, that's, you know, that, that's, that's the GBR's uh, natural biotope. Um, 
you know, to you guys that, that, that can keep them in moderately hard water, you know, my hat's off to you. I'm talking about if, if you're keeping them and they're dying and they're in their natural biotope and, you know, you're having issues with them, you know, it's probably more than likely it's the strain. It's probably not you, the hobbyist. So don't get frustrated. Solution, go out, find yourself a good, reputable buyer online. If you love these fish the same way that I do, guys, you know, you can be just as successful as I am. Go get them from a reputable breeder. I promise you that, you know, these fish are great. They, they interact with you. They come up to you. They look at you. They know you. They know when they're about to get fed. They'll follow you around the room. I mean, you know, they really are one of the most beautiful cichlids that you can have inside of a soft water tank. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Comment, like, subscribe, share my videos. Pass this on. Guys, Scuba Steve, I'm out.